Who handles your life insurance? That's a question that doesn't get asked enough. And understanding your life insurance quote is really much more simple than most people believe it to be, even other insurance agents. The truth is there are really only a few types of life insurance. And what matters the most is getting with your independent agent like us here at Harry Levine Insurance to understand what your needs are, what products might fill those needs, and how to get a policy in place. Traditionally, you have products like term life and whole life, which has now evolved into universal life. In short, with term life, you select a death benefit. Could be $50,000, could be a million dollars. From there, you typically select a term of 10, 20, or 30 years, with 20 years being the most common that we see. There are other products that are just five years that can help you with a vehicle loan and some other nuances, but for the purposes of understanding term, let's just run with 10, 20, and 30. You pay premiums that never change. Whatever they were quoted on day one, they will be either monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually for the duration of that 10, 20, or 30 year term. When the term's up, so is the policy. Could you buy more term insurance then or renew? The answer is yes, but now the price is going to change. You see, when you first bought it and you were 25 years old, the price was probably pretty competitive. But now 20 years later, you're 45 and the price is going to be, well, 20 years worth of age higher. That's where something like universal life might be a good option for you if you're not trying to simply protect against a loan like a mortgage that may last for 20 or 30 years. Universal life, as long as it's paid per the payment schedule, can last an entire lifetime, specifically up to age 110, which if attained, believe it or not, actually triggers the policy to pay out. So if you plan on living to 115 or 120, your life insurance might pay out at 110 and you could have a heck of a party. One of the most important things to understand when getting a life insurance quote is how your age and health affect that quote. Any agent providing life insurance, well, they could give you numbers, but when it comes time to really get going, they're gonna need to know your date of birth, your height, your weight, your gender, of course, because there are different mortality tables between males and females. And then, do you have any chronic health conditions and are you on any regular medications? Those things all drive the cost of life insurance. The way that life insurance works from the company perspective is simple. They will agree to afford you a certain death benefit for a certain premium. That premium is gonna be based on how many years you're expected to live based on standard mortality tables. During that expected lifetime, the company plans to invest the premium dollars that you pay them. Thus, the longer that investment horizon, the more interest income they can make on those investments. That's why life insurance costs so much less at a younger age, because that money can be invested for a much longer time. For instance, if you try to buy life insurance in your 50s, whether you're a man or a woman, it's gonna be radically more expensive than if you bought it in your 20s. Again, the why there is if you wait until your 50s, based on most mortality tables, there's really only a 10 to 25 year window for that money to be invested. Again, you could live to 115, but we're using mortality tables here that standardize that expectation across the greater population. 